And good day. Gary here, working on a sketch for Etsy. Oh, what you're looking at is a uh, six by nine sheet of Arsh. Um, this thing eventually will be uh, matted down to about a five by seven. Uh, so that's why I'm working with this size. So I got my board on a wee bit of a tilt for the painting that's going to happen afterward. And I'm using a hard lead pencil so that uh, the lines don't um, creep through too much in the watercolor portion of this. Now today, uh, I've decided to do the ink work first and, uh, and then paint afterwards and see what it looks like. So my composition is really quite simple. I've got a nice uh, tall structure in the middle to fill the page. And I've balanced it out with a couple trees on either side. So given that the place is in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't seem to have any uh, access to power or, more importantly, uh, sewer, uh, there's an outhouse in the back. So I'm using my um, Lamy, Lamy Fine Nib uh, pen to do the inking here. Uh, the ink is a waterproof ink. It's an archive ink, uh, Diatramentus, I believe it's called, or if it's pronounced differently, I apologize. But that's what I'm using for the ink. And I found that uh, with these pens, it, um, it works quite well. I, I haven't had any uh, running or bleeding or fuzziness as a result of uh, using this and then putting the watercolor on top. I'm just adding a bunch of little features in here and I've come in with my kneadable eraser uh, just to clean up some of the pencil work and go in and now ink in some of the, uh, the lines for the roof. So I get this, I guess at this point I could uh, promote my Patreon page. Um, this is the type of work I do. And um, of course, they're longer, more extended, uh, more chatty uh, to give you a hint of what's going on. So not to get too far ahead of myself, I have uh, put some was supposed to be clean water in the background to start the sky. I ended up being some gray water. I was using the, that giant uh, hockey hake brush uh, to put the water in first. And then I've dropped in uh, cadmium yellow and some cadmium orange hue uh, to do the sky. The roof decided to go with a uh, like a copper type roof. One that's been, um, what's the term, oxidized or exposed to the elements too much and it changes from that copper color to I think this color. So I've gone with the cadmium yellow sap green and a bit of quinacridone burnt orange to um, to get my roof to look like that. Foreground, cadmium yellow, sap green, that sort of thing. Now the trees, um, I'm in between seasons, so uh, I put in a pretty dilute cadmium yellow for the base and uh, dropped in sap green and some of the uh, cadmium orange. I like to let the paints um, work their magic um, on the paper rather than trying to mix them on my palette. So that's what's going on here. Same thing applies for the fence. I was using the, uh, boy, I seem to like that uh, quinacridone burnt orange a lot. Anyway, I'm using that with some Payne's Gray. Uh, trying to show some texture on the fence. So I'll put a bit of dark down at the bottom and then I'm gonna splash a bit of water on it to, uh, for some cauliflowers to uh, hopefully create some texture and I think it worked out pretty well. This house, um, foundation looks pretty solid. It's a stone foundation, same thing. Oh, um, please like and subscribe. So if you're watching this and to my subscribers out there, thank you so much. I noticed that uh, you've been watching and liking and subscribing so uh, please go ahead and do that here I, I'd greatly appreciate it anyway back to the house my goodness the um, chimney is a combination of Davies Gray and uh, Burnt Sienna now these places that I make up are 
from a simpler time um, with not much access to anything and uh, I mean you wouldn't know if an axe murderer lived here but uh, I hope you don't think that when you look at the place of note is the uh, red door. That's for my wife. She says my paintings don't have enough color, so um, you know I'm committed to putting red doors on everything. The sky couldn't determine. You know you can't really tell what the color is of the sky, and it's completely made up. So um, for shadows, I'm going to have the light coming down directly from above, and pretend it's noon, something like that. So I've gone with an ultramarine, which seems to show up well on the building, on the structure. Uh, still at this point, I don't know if I'm going to paint the structure. Oh, there's my ad for Patreon. Yeah, over on Patreon, I spend a little more time on this. is obviously sped up quite a bit, but I spend a little more time. Um, videos are quite a bit longer, uh, more description and that sort of thing. So back to the, um, the structure. It, it was a bit pale for me, so I'm adding color. And then I'm lifting out color, trying to create a bit of texture. And then, of course, uh, Mr. Paper Towel comes in and takes out even more color. And then it dries much lighter. So my problem with this right now is that the house is uh, almost the same color as the sky in the background. So I think I'll paint the tree trunks and try and figure out what I'm going to do with the house. So I'm going back in, darkening up some of the bricks to see if that, uh, or stones. Um, I guess it's a stuckle type uh, structure. So I'm going in, putting some stoneworks in, and just darkening all around it, see if, uh, if it's changing the overall outlook. And I think I'm done, but whoa, I'm not done. After I'd signed it and looked at it, I decided it needed way more color, so I um, went crazy and got the, um, all the cadmium yellow, I got some of the burnt sienna going all sorts of stuff in there. Now I'm really going crazy with the burnt sienna at the base, just above the stones. And I also noticed I hadn't finished the uh, eaves trough. So that's kind of the way my process goes. And then I noticed, wow, well, my trees didn't have enough uh, shadow at the bottom on the underside of the foliage. So I'm dropping in some more paint. And that tends to be the way things go for me. I tend to paint uh, a little on the light side. I guess that's good for watercolor and then work my way up to the darks. But uh, near the end, uh, I seem to be doing a lot of shadowing. But I guess that's a good time to do the details. And lastly, I've come in with the uh, pastel pencil just to put a few highlights. And there we go. Hopefully you got something out of this, and um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.